In our last episode, you guys saw how close the game was. Michael Vick had a big game all, all quarter long. I mean, first quarter, you guys saw him throwing these deep passes, but... It only took them until the second quarter to actually score. So the score now is 14 to 13. We are into the third quarter. Michael Vick going deep. Look at this catch. Unbelievable. I mean, there was at least three defenders around my receiver, but he was still able to come down with the ball. So I mean, we simulate into the fourth quarter. 18 seconds remaining. We're down by four points. And nothing better can explain Michael Vick than him having clutch genes in this situation. He comes through with about 10 seconds remaining and throws his deep ball to his receiver. And that was right on the money. Look at this pass. I mean, the pocket was almost collapsing, even though my offensive line did a good job on the play. Not allowing any defensive line to catch up to me. And Michael Vick was able to throw that perfect, perfect pass. So we go ahead and we are going to be into week number six. And we are going to be playing the three and two Manassas. But look at this team. Look at number 81. That obviously, for some reason, I thought I was Calvin Johnson. I mean, if you guys play Madden, that guy looked just like Calvin Johnson. His accessories, his body, and everything. And uh, I was blown away. I thought I was actually playing my, uh, Calvin Johnson in high school. But we kicked this game off, and here comes Michael Vick. He's, you know, showing off his accuracy. A couple of short passes right here, which is going to set us up at our forty at their 45-yard line. And then Gronk, you know, you guys know I call my tight end Gronkowski because he's built like him, and he definitely plays like him. So I get sacked on the play and here on second and goal Michael Vick is going to step back and throw it to Gonk and he is going to go ahead and get a first touchdown of the game so it's 7 to nothing. Michael Vick now showing off his deep passing ability but the receiver is not there, not there. I mean that was kind of overthrown but more importantly we do simulate down the drive and I'm going to pick up a first down on that play then he's going to step back test his arm once again and these cornerbacks in high school I mean I've stressed this many many times no matter what sliders you put on no matter what difficulty you're playing on these cornerbacks in high school are just not going to catch up I mean that's some of the perks of NCAA I've covered it with my running back I've covered it with my every single position that I make in uh, a road to glory I've talked about it a lot and here I am making his interception and uh, no one is going to catch up to this linebacker but I've talked about it a lot and in high school basically high school is just made for you to dominate at first you're going to start out obviously each position that you create you know the opposing defenders they're not even going to catch up whether you're on a wide receiver whether you're playing quarterback the only thing that I have noticed is most of the time that offensive line you slacks a lot in high school and defensive line is always going to catch up to you but other than that I've noticed that you know you barely get tackled cornerbacks always get beat on a play and that's just how high school is so Michael Vick now still in the third quarter again just showing off his arm and that is pretty much gonna put the icing on the cake and we are gonna walk away here only one more week left in my regular season but we're gonna get this win here against Manassas with the score of let's wait for it 49 to 21 so as i go into the next week you see the game that i had 36 attempts and 25 completions with 729 yards i mean unbelievable everybody who pretty much came out obviously north carolina was in the stands and they offered michael vick a full ride scholarship so the three teams that are ahead for next week are going to be wisconsin washington and utah and i decided to go ahead you know and follow wisconsin so you never know after this week wisconsin might offer me a full ride scholarship as well so here here comes the last regular season game of the year and this is basically my high school senior year and we're going to be playing Culpepper now I personally didn't know Dante Culpepper had a high school team now all jokes aside though we get this game started right here and obviously the first possession I want to you know control the game I want to instead of you know having these deep passes every single time I want to sort of slow down a pace and try to control the game like I said so here's a couple completions right here and the thing that impresses me a lot is the yak every time my receivers get a reception they always make plays out of them they just don't go down they just always run around the cornerbacks and just do their thing so I get a quick first down a quick touchdown right there should I say and I'm gonna go a pass to Gronk right here as he gets that reception he's gonna break that tackle and go in for the touchdown so the score is already 14 to 10 and here we go once again a completion of Gronk he's gonna pick up that first down Michael Vick is gonna step back and finally we're going deep right here a completion is made by my receiver and he's gonna go in for the touchdown 
The score is now 21 to nothing. Michael Vick now, we're going to scramble, and he is going to pick up eight yards. So Michael Vick now, after that scramble, he's going to go ahead and scramble once again. He does get stopped, but he was able to pick up a first down. Then a short, or should I say, I was going to go for a short pass, but I was taken down for a sack. But then I'm going to come back right here to Gronk. I mean, this guy is definitely going to be a first-round draft pick, and it's going to be crazy to see where he ends up in the NFL. But... We're able to go ahead and tap in another completion right there for a touchdown. And Michael Vick, for his last regular season game in the senior season, was able to show the crowd what he is made out of. With the score of 49-7, we complete week number 7. And when I got into the main menu, Wisconsin offered me a full-ride scholarship. Then we got Oregon, Stafford, and Washington. And I decided to go ahead and pick Oregon for next week. But obviously, the next game is going to be in my high school playoffs. This is going to be round number one so it's gonna be exciting to see what happens it's your boy onto the boss and i'll see you guys in a playoffs i'm out If you guys want to stay updated on when all of my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss.